Hey, good morning. One and all, welcome along to episode number 27 of our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. And it is for round number four of season number two, the Chinese Grand Prix. If you did miss the last ra race at Vietnam, go check it out, folks, because it was an absolute cracker of a race. Absolute cracker of a race. Cannot uh, put into words how much of a cracker it actually was. Here's how our facility looks. Everything uh, you can see... We're uh, spec, some are spec 2, some are spec 3 facilities, which is uh, awesome. I think you'll uh, I think you'll all agree. I don't know why the green screen is playing up, but uh, it just uh, it just happens to be playing up today. I haven't a clue why. Could be um, could be because it's uh, brighter than it uh, than it actually has been. Tatiana had a good race last time. I think you'll, uh, I think we'll all agree. Tatiana had a very good race, uh, and she's, uh, well, she's a 69 rating. Nice. So let's look at the championship, shall we? Valtteri Bottas leads away from Jackie Levine in second place. Then followed by Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, Hollywood Land Stroll, Charles Leclerc, Sebastian Vettel, Carlos Sainz, Daniel Ricciardo, Kimi Raikkonen. Your top ten. In the constructors, Mercedes are already racing away with it from Ferrari. Then Chase Ladder in third, followed by Red Bull, Red Racing Point, Renault, McLaren, Alpha Romeo, Alpha Tauri, Haas, and Williams still uh, both yet to get off the mark. And I do believe there are a few drivers that haven't scored points yet. Well, obviously uh, Latifi and Magnussen and De Vries and George Russell. Tatiana's not scored points, nor is uh, Danny Kvyat, which uh, does surprise me. And Lando Norris uh, hasn't scored any points either. So let's advance the time to uh, the Chinese Grand Prix, shall we? We get, uh, oh, we've got to restart some uh, R&D. Useful. Weight training. And then we get the two durability upgrades, which is uh, nice to uh, nice to see. You gotta love durability uh, upgrades, folks. You do uh, gotta love them from time to time. The green screen is uh, really not playing ball down in the corner down here today. I have no idea why. Absolute no idea why. Although we may have just uh, we may have just figured it out. So we haven't got the points to restart the R&D, which is a shock and shame. Would have loved that uh, around China. That might have uh, that might have helped it out a bit. But in the meantime, we're going to get practiced. We are going to get qualified, and then we will see uh, you and everyone else on the start line for uh, what we hope will be a very good Chinese Grand Prix. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. We start a lap here at Shanghai with the long, difficult right-handers of turns one and two, the first of 16 corners that make up this 3.3-mile circuit. The incredibly long back straight provides the best passing opportunity of the lap, with speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour before the braking zone of turn 14. Anthony Davidson, thanks for joining me once again for the Grand Prix. Let's have a chat about Williams. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Vettel, Ricardo, Max Verstappen, and Perez, Kvyat, Iceman, Sainz, and Charles Leclerc, Norris, Ocon, Pierre Gasly, and Raikkonen, Stroll, Albon, Tatiana Calderon, and George Russell, De Vries, Latifi, Magnussen, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Uh, a top 10 finish, I hear you ask. Well, a top 10 finish we can uh, we can gladly give you. 
she's rolling off P8 today, although she was uh, didn't qualify P9, so uh, looks like there were a couple of penalties uh, dished out at uh, the last moment. So, yeah, I would rather have started on the outside, but if we've got to start on the inside, then we've, we've got to start on the inside. <coughs> it did. We did um, try to get through on the... Uh, Medium tyres, but uh, obviously that wasn't uh, that wasn't working. So uh, we just got through on the softs, and then we put in a decent lap time to uh, to get ourselves in the, in the top ten shootout. There's the forecast for you all. It's dry as a like, but it's very dull here in China. So we'll uh, we'll have to keep out, see if any rain does come. None is forecast, but just because no rain is forecast doesn't mean that uh, rain is going to uh, is going to come. We do hope rain uh, isn't going to come, though, because that would be, uh, yeah. That would not be the way to go about this race. I don't want to be on a, don't want to be on a dry surface with, sorry, wet surface with dry tyres on. Because <coughs> that, we don't uh, excel then. The AI excel, but we certainly don't. But Jackie and Tatiana are ready. I think it is time, then, to get them both, uh... Off and get them both uh, underway at the Chinese Grand Prix, folks. It's lights out and away we go here in China. They didn't hold us there for very long there. As uh, Jack... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, dear. That start was uh, so good there for Jackie that uh, they sent it into a cockpit side by side with one of the Ferraris there. That's uh, Charles Leclerc. No, that's not a Sebastian Vettel. I do apologise to uh, Sebastian there, but Jackie's already up in a P3. Oh, no, 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 she's P4. P4 now. Not uh, not P3 anymore. I I was testing you all there, and uh, you all failed uh, You all failed the test. But uh, through turns 7 and 8 now, with this lovely colour scheme that we're going to be running this year, Apart from the, the British Grand Prix, we'll have uh, we'll have a nice uh, special livery for you there, folks. But uh, down the back straight uh, we go there. Oh, I see. The, look at the lights flickering on the grandstand in the background. That's uh, really snazzy there. As you come into this horrible little click back, uh, so which leads onto the back straight, just unwinds and unwinds and unwinds. As uh, we go to the battle for P19, that is Antonio Giovinazzi. We're looking for Nick De Vries in front of him. Will uh, will the Italian get past the Dutchman? Well, we'd hope so because that uh, Ferrari engine in uh, inside that car is uh, very powerful. As Tatiana's defending there from one of the uh, one of the Haas car, sorry, the uh, Red Bull cars. I believe that's Alexander Albon uh, back there. She put up a, a very good defence. There. What position is she in? 22, 21, 19, 18. She must be about P16, P15, somewhere in that area. So she's had a pretty decent start as well. Uh, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. So it's P16. I can count. Well, at least I hope I can count. But great side-by-side -side action between the Alfa Romeo and the Williams into Turn 1. And uh, you love seeing uh, that sort of thing as we move a little forward uh, in the lap on lap number 2 here. Coming uh, around the Onto the back straight here, Sebastian Vettel is starting to get away from us, so it uh, doesn't look like uh, a podium's going to happen today unless something uh, pretty dramatic happens. We will uh, wait and see if it uh, if it actually does or not. We've got uh, the charge of Antonio uh, Giovinazzi continues, that's George Russell in front of him. And, oh, dear me! Snaps it to the outside, and that is going to be P18 for the Italian. If he keeps uh, this momentum going, he may even continue on into P, into uh, lap three here. Up the inside of the final corner, and I think he's just about got him. I think we'll see if it's a drag race, but he has got him. And move him up into uh, into P18 as uh, we move on to a little further into lap number three here. And you can see that uh, Sebastian, he, well, he's, he's getting away, but he's not uh, getting away at the rate you'd uh, actually think there. There's Bottas, Hamilton, there's Vettel. Here comes Ricardo. Oh, that's some staunch driving. Oh, that's questionable. I don't uh, want to see driving like that ever again. Uh, as we move on to lap number four here, and these tires are literally past their uh, their sell-by date here. 
as much as uh, as much as we try we're not gaining on Sebastian and we're not uh, dropping Daniel Ricciardo here we may see another oh that yeah I tell you what Jackie's getting a bit punchy here and a bit questionable Absolutely punchy and questionable. We're going to move on to uh, the end of the lap here to pit. But look at the look at the wing, folks. It is raining. That was not in the forecast that it was going to rain here. And uh, hopefully we're going to stick her on intermediate tyres here to try and uh, get her through here. There goes Tatiana. She may be in the box seat here as uh, we head down uh, to our garage there. And uh, here comes the Mercedes garage uh, right about now. Actually, no, that's uh, that's the uh, skyline of Shanghai. That's uh, unusual. But there goes uh, Jackie, and what we stuck her on? Mediums? We're, we're going to draw... DM. Oh, she's... Oh, I'll tell you what, she... Oh, she got... Oh, that... Uh, I'll tell you what. We're seeing some questionable driving from uh, Jackie today. As uh, we move on to uh, lap number... Helps if I had the right uh, sheet there. Lap number five here. And uh, this is going to be Lando Norris and uh, Pierre Gasly. It's these who haven't pit yet. This is uh, for P3. And you've got uh, Esteban Ocon uh, literally not too far behind them. And uh, who else is there? Who do you think? Kimi Raikkonen. Oh, hello. Well, we've got a pit lane uh, race going on here. Get to sort that out, uh, gentlemen, if you uh, would be so kind. But... Uh, the race is about to be run for George Russell, I think, because he's been complaining of something. And there you go. I think his engines uh, just about give up the ghost. <coughs> and he's uh, holding Nick DeVries up. He's got his teammates going to look favourably on him for that one. As uh, we see Kevin Magnussen going in, he's preempting uh, the safety car. Oh, there's uh, a bit of debris on the track. We may just get that safety car. We uh, we don't know yet. Tatiana is in the pits. Let's see if she goes on to intermediates or not. Uh, doesn't look like any of the cars here are on intermediates, but uh, the car we need to be watching because Jackie's now in P6. The car we want to watch is this car coming behind us, Max Verstappen. And he's going to try and swing it to the outside of the uh, fast turn 14. So the slow turn 14, but Jackie just about holds it together and she's going to remain in that position. So Nicholas Latifi, he hadn't pitted yet. We're going to overtake him in the pit lane. So she should, should go back up to P4 here. And uh, indeed she does when she gets past uh, Latifi and uh, all those. But Verstappen is not uh, letting her go. He is coming with DRS. We're having to push that battery for all it is worth. Oh, oh dear me, I tell you what. Oh, but he's going to get the better exit. He's going to get the better exit out of uh, turn uh, number at number, the last corner. Oh, but Jackie is really, really staunch with defending there. And here comes Daniel Ricciardo, folks. Daniel Ricciardo, this is on lap number nine. Here. Verstappen's trying to go one way, then the other. Ricciardo's now around the outside of Jackie into turn one. He's been pushed wide. Verstappen's going to come right sneaking up the inside. This is fantastic racing between the, uh, the chase line of the Renault and the uh, Red Bull. Bless you. As uh, Ricardo's now overtaken Verstappen and he's up in the PR. No, Verstappen's coming back. Oh, this is great racing. This is great racing. Hopefully this is the kind of racing we're going to be seeing uh, throughout uh, Season 2 here. If uh, the Renault is going to come up and uh, start challenging for uh, positions of Ricardo up the inside. I think uh, he's got him this time. No, Verst he's still there, folks. This is great side by This has been going on for almost a lap now. And uh, finally, I think Ricardo's going to get his man. And indeed, he does move him up uh, a position there. So we go to the Alpha Towery of uh, Danny Kvyat. We are on lap 10 here. Sergio Perez is uh, going to have a look up the inside. And Perez, oh, he's not going to make the move there. I, I always knew that that was uh, going to be a bit questionable. And uh, certainly it was very, very questionable as uh, Jackie heads down the back straight. It looks like the rain is not getting any worse, so we might be all right driving on these uh, wet, dry tyres if we can uh, keep the pressures up and keep the temperature going. We're going to fast forward now onto lap number 11 here, and you can see Ricardo and Verstappen are gaining on her, gaining on her at a, at a rate of knots here. I don't think she quite has the confidence to uh, just hold the, uh, hold the throttle down through these uh, slow corners with the uh, the moisture that is now accumulating on the track an accumulation of moisture 
that's uh, that's all we needed uh, to see as uh, we head uh, down the main straight here for Stappen. No, it's Ricardo that is going to come round the outside. Come knocking. He's a uh, Ricardo is a knocking, but uh, he ain't coming through. And uh, Jackie will hold on to P4 for the moment. But how much longer is she going to hold on to P4 as we fling on to lap number 12 through the fast S section? And you can see she's trying, folks. She's really trying here. Ricardo and Verstappen are all over her. I've got a feeling there's going to be another uh, move coming down uh, down the main straight here. We'll uh, have to see what uh, Ricardo and Verstappen try. But uh, she is she she's still got some pace. That's uh, that's the main thing. But uh, Ricardo is going to have DRS. He's going to have a momentum run down to the fire the hairpin here at the end of the long straight. Go to the outside. It's not worked that uh, outside line, or it might work this time, but no, it doesn't. And Jackie's going to stay ahead again, again, folks. Oh, and it's going to keep going like this because now we're on lap number 13, and Ricardo is literally, he's literally pushing her. He's literally pushing her through the corner, folks. I don't want to say that uh, he's really pushing her through the corner, but he's really pushing her through the corner. <coughs> As we almost uh, lose our voice there. But going uh, on to the back straight here. And here comes Rick. He's closer this time. He might get the move done now. We'll, uh, we'll have to see if he uh, does. Oh, is she questionable driving again? That was a late move. She's going to fling it back at Ricardo. Luckily, finally, sees her coming. But, oh, and he's getting loose. And Jackie's getting all over the place. What are we going to see here going uh, through the last corner? They're coming to start the final lap here. Ricardo's uh, out in the lead. But Jackie's got uh, DRS this time. Punch it to the inside, girl. Punch it to the inside and fling it into turn one. Now Ricardo flings it back into turn one. Stay there, round the outside. Stay there and you've got the inside for turn three. Lovely work. Get it. And she got it. Yes, she has. Oh, but that might not be the end of it. It, it won't be the end of it, because Ricardo still wants some. Come on then, Rick Bobby. He may be the honey badger, but uh, Jackie is the great white shark. And uh, she is... Oh, <laughs> I tell you what, how have you not enjoyed uh, this action here? As Valtteri Bottas comes across the line and wins the uh, Chinese Grand Prix ahead of uh, Lewis Hamilton. But the action uh, doesn't end there. Come on, R Jackie. Hold on to P4, girl. Ricardo to the outside. She is pushing him off the track. She wants to keep hold of this position. And uh, she will keep P4. Will Ricardo keep uh, P5? Yes, he will. But oh my days, what a race. So Bottas wins. Hamilton second. Jan Vettel third. But Jackie, P4. Oh, that is a great result. Well done, girl. Well done. That was uh, that was a fine uh, fine drive there in the challenge conditions. Jova Nazi driver of the day, and I think uh, the Italians uh, deserved it for that one. Yes, another historic win under their belts. Well done to the team at Mercedes. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximize the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today.
And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? That's got to be the flying fin. Wait, how many flying fins have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just great raw speed and a good job in traffic as well. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Alfa Tori's strong weekend allows them to continue their march up the table. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsports. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. <laughs> yes, sir. We've got the green screen uh, going again. P1, maybe. No, it's not P1, it's P4. <laughs> I knew it was P4. Don't you criticise me. I knew it was P4. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at the championship standings up there. Valtteri Bottas wins the Chinese Grand Prix from uh, Lewis Hamilton, then followed by uh, Sebastian Vettel and uh, yeah, Jackie P4. I think. Uh, I think if we're being honest with ourselves, P4 was probably the very best we could come out with today. But uh, 12 points is still uh, 12 points, and I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, Danny Rick, uh, P5. Max Verstappen in uh, P6. Then uh, Danny Kvyat, Sergio Perez, Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc finished in 10th. Wow. But yeah, Verstappen and Ricardo they gave Jackie an absolute headache today an absolute headache <clears throat> headaches that uh, surely are um, worthy of being sponsored by uh, Dr. Pepper who ask you uh, what's the worst that can happen but uh, I know the worst that can happen now we'll go see Claire and she'll have no relevant questions for us at all hello you Jackie's very happy. Did you feel comfortable in the wet weather? Today? Uh, I can assure you, Jackie did not feel comfortable in that wet weather today, considering that he did, we didn't give her the chance to uh, switch onto the intermediate tyres. But uh, it poses risks. Wet, wet racing always does. Like uh, absolutely. Um, not quite sure who you're about, but it was like a fair ground out there, wasn't it? Appreciate your time. And yours. Uh, here comes the green screen problems again. I honestly don't know what uh, what is going on with this green screen. I'm trying to keep the light on it as much as I can, but uh, it is pretty pretty difficult. Complete a weekend without Clyde Nova class, fair enough. Hundred grand in uh, in profit, up to four point two eight million. That's the kind of stuff we love to see. And Carl uh, doesn't want to tell us about our uh, our projected running costs, do they? Ah, uh, right. So next up is the Dutch Grand Prix. I'll be honest, I don't mind uh, the Dutch Grand Prix because I think uh, the Dutch Grand Prix is a pretty good uh, Grand Prix. So we're going to have a look here and see what uh, what we can do. I think we'll certainly take this uh, funded team event. And again. Everything's actually looking uh, pretty good. So actually, we'll take the second driver PR film with the driver PR promotion. And then we'll take reaction training and durability uh, team building. I think that's that's pretty good. If uh, if you ask me. I think uh, we could boost uh, boost old Tatiana up a little bit more. She may come to uh, Holland and she may have, a, have an absolute result. Uh, you can see that we did get that um, upgrade sorted, uh, as well as a as well as a chassis upgrade. They're going to be on uh, for whenever. What we will do uh, in the meantime, we will take a time to get this uh, aero update for the Spanish Grand Prix. I think it will put us well up the field. So we're near uh, Alpha Tauri and Racing Point if we got it. However, I think we want to work on our weakest area, which is the chassis. If we can work on the chassis, it might help us out uh, in the long haul. So we'll look, uh, we'll look at uh, doing that. I think 
But guys, 25 likes uh, on the video, if you'd be so kind. Thank you uh, also very much for watching. Do get subscribed for more F1 2020 My Team Career Mode, NASCAR Heat 4, whatever we play on Saturdays and Sundays as well. Uh, in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Hope you're all staying safe. Thanks for watching again. Uh, hope you all did enjoy. And we'll see you all on Wednesday for some more F1 uh, 2020, folks.